Hi everyone! Guess who's arrived on our doorstep today? The new Apple White Dragon Rider playset from Ever After High and the Dragon Games line. I am really excited to get her open. There's Apple on her dragon. And there's Apple pinned very uncomfortably into her box. I think I'd better rescue her before her arms break off in there. And there's her beautiful dragon, Brayburn. First, let's look at the side of the box. There's her artwork. And let's read the blurb. It says that everyone at Ever After High is so excited to play dragon games that nobody notices that Apple White was tricked into shattering the magic mirror by the evil queen. But fortunately, with the help of Brayburn, she's going to swoop in and save the day. And here are some stats on Brayburn. Dragon magic is lightning bolt. Ooh, that'll be interesting to see. All right, let's get Apple and Brayburn out of their box. Here they are. They slid out pretty easily. I don't see a doll stand or a comb anywhere or a, a book, a little Dragon Games book, but I do see this instruction set showing you um, that... Apple's hands come out, how to put Brayburn's wings in, how to have Apple ride Brayburn, and the, the tail, I'm sorry, the wings flap, and what parts of the dragon move. So here they are, all unboxed and liberated from that constraining position. Personally, I don't get why Apple gets a dragon, but not Raven, when Raven was the one who's always had a pet dragon. Nevermore, remember from the books, Ever After High books. Anyway, um, she does not come with a doll stand or comb, and that's fine because I have an ocean of those. And I'm going to go ahead and lend her one of my existing stands. So every Apple White doll is gorgeous, and this one is no exception. I like how her makeup is a bit uh, muted and understated, limited to just gold eyeshadow. I like how her pale blonde hair is super, super straight and very soft. Actually, I take that back. Um, I felt a little bit of gel here. Okay, so there's some gel on the sides to get it to, I guess, stay put on, on either side. Yep, there's some gel here as well. I like her golden crown. Interesting armor. Can't imagine it's very protective since it's only on one shoulder. And let's look at how that armor works. Okay, so it unfastens here in the back and it slides over her one arm, the right arm. She's wearing a very interesting top. It looks like a sleeveless and strapless top that is solid red um, above the waist and a red and gold pattern below the waist. And she's got on an armor belt. Um, if I can just get the hair out of the way, I can show you the back of the belt and it's a gold armor belt. And then uh, one difference between her and the other Dragon Games dolls is she's not wearing leggings. Her legs are um, made to look like that gray, um, silverish sort of armor. And I'm sure that was to save money because I'm sure Brayburn cost a pretty penny for Mattel to make as well. And these are her awesome leather warrior looking boots. Now let's look at Brayburn. So Brayburn is a beautiful dragon. Her horns look like uh, golden wood and they end in, some of them end in leaves. Some of those wood branches end in leaves. Her eyes are large and blue and she's wearing a, an apple red bridle and parts of her mane are white with black tips. Her uh, saddle is red and that's a very beautiful tail. Looks like it ends in a gold feather. Oh, there's a place to have Apple sit. These are her beautiful wings. And um, they don't look very aerodynamic, but I guess they do work. Let's see how they flap. Yep, they flap very nicely. And you can move the legs, as I've just done. And you can also move the head sort of swivel it side to side and here I've put Apple on Brayburn and um, she's looking super cute again I don't think she should be the one to get a dragon but they did a really good job with her and her dragon all right let's see if we can make them fly so I imagine that your little girl would just um, pick her up and just press that button and 
pretend like Apple's flying and coming in to save the day. One note about this outfit, it's very easy to have a wardrobe malfunction and display some parts that Apple wouldn't want displayed. I just realized that I had put her on the dragon wrong. The instruction book has her legs behind the wings and I had them in front. So behind the wings also work quite well. I suppose that would make sense since in front of the wings she might get in the way and you can make them flap just as well. And she actually looks like she's more um, leaning forward and more intent. All right, some shout outs. So Bonnie Lover 20, Lego Fan 101, and the Animals Band. You guys are um, getting a shout out courtesy of Turtle, who asked me to give you guys a shout out. All right, guys, let me know what you think of Apple White Dragon Rider, and thanks for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel.